As you may recall, we last left Jonathan Gullible on a remote Pacific island after his boat was tossed about by a terrific storm. Jonathan's wandering up the side of the, of the, of the shoreline there, and he runs across this, this uh, group of men who are dragging a woman down the trail, and she's screaming and yelling for help. He tries to help, but she's, he's brushed aside. He decides to, to try and seek others to help him too. So he goes up the trail further, and he comes to this large clearing and all these men standing around tree trunks and beating them with sticks. Now Jonathan goes up to the man who seems to be in charge and says, Please, sir, uh, help me rescue this woman who's being dragged off by these burly men. And he says, Oh, no, 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 no. She's been arrested this morning for threatening the jobs of all these tree workers. What? How can, how can this woman be threatening the jobs of these tree workers? Well, as you can see, we, we knock down trees by beating them with sticks. This woman came to work this morning with a sharp metal piece attached to the end of her stick. I mean, these men can spend a whole month knocking down a tree, a hundred of them, a good-sized tree, but she knocked down a single tree all by herself in less than an hour. Clearly, this threat to our traditional employment had to be arrested. But, but that's crazy. I mean, if you, if you use this sharp metal on a stick, you can be more efficient at cutting down trees and then use the save time to, to do other things. You can build tables and chairs and houses and boats with this save time. Why arrest this? Oh, the, the purpose of work isn't to be more productive. The purpose of work is to have secure and stable employment. And then the supervisor looks upon Jonathan with a little suspicion as if he could be a threat to their employment as well. I mean, it's a fun story, but what it really means is that a lot of times throughout history, people have found a threat in new ideas. And people all the time are talking about, oh, computers are going to make uh, people unemployed without realizing that computers have enhanced the productivity of people and made us so many more productive in unseen ways. That's what uh, Friedrich Bastiat was so clever in pointing out, that economics is really a study of the seen and the unseen. What we see is the person who loses the job. What is unseen is all the additional or new jobs that can be created when new ideas are adopted. Years ago, the first person to develop the steamboat thought, wow, what a great invention. I mean, I can go upstream, downstream, upwind, downwind, and uh, I can be much more productive than with the old sailing boats. But when he first land, uh, came to the dock, the sailors who were used to the sailboats burned his boat to the waterline. They felt threatened by this new idea. It wasn't another 80 years until another steamboat had docked at that boat, and finally people accepted the ideas as being productive. They don't see the things that can happen with new ideas. And this is all around us in so many ways. Uh, uh, the garbage uh, collectors were threatened by uh, a mechanical arm, feeling that, oh, that's going to replace us in the, in the job. Well, actually, it did replace them, and there are those things that are lost. It's what uh, Joseph Schumpeter called creative destruction in the marketplace. And it's really to our benefit to accept new ideas and the new productivity that comes with it because we all benefit by it.